Okay, hello everyone. Welcome in the field out with the AT Pro. Now we got our first find here. Very jumpy. It's a pistol ball. Musket pistol. Not a small one. See you at the next. Okay, I got my next find here. It was, um, it's a little pendant, religious pendant. You can see where it broke off here at the top. But it's very uh, smooth. So I don't think there's gonna be much on there. But yeah, uh, signal was uh, 45 to 53. I guess uh, it's copper or nickel or brass. Okay, see you at the next. Okay, the next one really had me fooled. I had half a woohoo ready. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Yeah, come on. Really, it does look like a little silver hammer that does it. It's just a pewter button. <laughs> It's just a pewter button. Oh yeah. Okay. On to the next. Hey guys. It's a beautiful evening. Uh, I got my next find here. And it looks kind of strange. And I'm also in the Roman part of the field, let's say. So. Uh, look at that. Try to get it out of the shade. Mm, not sure what that is. That signal was 61, so for me that's mm, probably bronze. Let's get it out of the sun. And it seems to have like uh, a hole there, you know, like a, like like a needle would have, but yeah. The other side. No idea what that is, but it looks really, really interesting. Okay, on to the next. Okay, we got a, a little, a little, an uh, armor piercing uh, bullet tip. And there we go. It's full on the bottom not filled with uh, lead like the others so it's armor piercing okay see you at the next okay I got my next find here and this one was right on the surface and it's uh, I believe a 10 centim copper nickel and there will be detail on it I guess if you can see it See there on the edge. Should be uh, 1800s, probably 1860s. Yeah, I'll see you at the next. Okay, got my next find here. This is actually a first for me. Well, I had uh, pin fire cartridges, but normally the pin is broken off but this one has a pin on it that's nice okay on to the next hey hello everyone we're gonna do a little uh, afternoon hunt so uh i'll see you at the first find it's beautiful weather the sun is shining the sky is blue so, yeah see you at the first find so uh, it's been a while since I used uh, 80 gold and um, I'm using it in uh, all metal mode. I have nothing discriminated. I have the iron audio on and uh, so yeah, I got my first find here. Well, first dig and first find and it's this. First, first thought it was a a bullet uh, casing, 9mm, but it's not, it's just, I don't know, like a copper tube or something. And the signal, I'll go over it again, was a 50. So yeah, 50, I don't know. See you at the next. Okay, 
Got my next target here. Came from uh, four inches. Uh, oh yeah. No, where did it go? Uh, now I lost it. Uh, just a second. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. It's a little uh, button. Just a second, I'll wipe it a bit. It's a little button here with a flower design on it. And the shank is still intact. Yeah, little copper button or brass because it was a uh, 50 51. That's a bit low for copper, I guess. Okay, see you at the next. Okay, got my next find here. It's a uh, part of an anchor buckle signal was very jumpy yeah there it is you can see the anchor the anchor bit if I can yeah like this yeah that's a nice find from some kind of uh, buckle okay my first uh, well, not the first, but one of the first relics with uh, 80 gold, that's cool. Okay, see you at the next! Alright you guys, so uh, this is what I got for my uh, total of 7 hours hunting. This is uh, the tin can trash. Not too much. And then some big iron pieces, part of a horseshoe. Uh, this is like uh, an iron ring. Some modern trash, aluminium frame, a bolt, uh, part of a lighter. Um, these are pieces of copper and brass. Little, uh, tubes I found. And a little tag. Um, this is also brass, but you can see the holes in it. It's not a coin. We got pieces of uh, zinc. Well, they give up a really good signal. Then I got this piece of uh, coke. But look at it. You can see the those silver pieces in it. It's like slag of something, you know. Probably something that dripped into the fires. And well, some sort of uh, silverish metal. And then I got a few pieces of lead just lead. Yeah, this was a uh, part of a bag seal, but uh, you know, it's pretty much destroyed, so I'm gonna put it just with the lead. A uh, little piece of uh, shrapnel, the bluish type, and then we get this brass shrapnel, and a small piece, some bullets, little lead bullet, uh, I think it's six millimeters. Uh, then we get a few others. This is the armor piercing one. They get numbers on the bottom here. Like this. If it focuses. Not sure what they mean, but you know. And then two bullets. This one is unfired. The tip is still in it, but it's uh, very much crushed. Also part of a cartridge here. This one two primers of cartridges and this is like a short 22 then a little piece of clay pipe nothing special about it doesn't have any decorations I think or maybe there mm, oh yeah it's got some decoration on it I didn't even see that there on the on top you can see like Mm. Lettering, I see an A. Yeah, that's clay pipe. The musket ball, uh, the pinfire cartridge. Actually, very happy with that because I rarely find one with uh, the pin still attached to it. So, that's actually a nice find. And then this little piece, pretty smaller, but you know, 
looks a bit curious than this uh, screw on something has lettering on it uh, hard to make out what it all says and we got the needle like thing this is very intriguing it looks like bronze might be copper as well not really sure but very strange object I really think it's uh, some sort of needle but yeah maybe from a sewing machine or something like that then we get this little buckle anchor buckle well the anchor piece of a buckle um, probably somewhere 1660s to 1720s it's always nice it's a little relic then the two little pendants this one is uh, as expected unreadable and this is another one and this one is readable it says uh, it's, it's got Maria on it and it says something like uh, Maria pray for us in our time of need and then this is the other side something in French but uh, I can't really make out what it is I tried something consécration du and there it all disappears but you can see it you know it's got a nice image on it it's not a coin but it's just as good for me I like these it also got uh, the symbolic date here on the bottom 1830 you can see it there barely one eight three zero and then some uh, yeah this these are uh, cloth pins to attach cloth to furniture and stuff like that two buttons this one doesn't have a shank really, really tiny little buttons and then this one with the flowering pattern quite nice so we'll focus uh, there we go and the little uh, the shank is still intact pretty nice then two uh, of these little pewter buttons and they are very thin and they look very silverish and they have the exact same size as these uh, small medieval silver hammers so I always get fooled by them anyway this is a, a big black flag, flat button it is copper still got the shank but it's squashed down I'm very happy with this one I don't get these flat buttons too often at least not so black <laughs> and um, two coins and I lost one so this is a uh, Leopold the uh, first one cent coin and this one has the exact same size it might be also one of those but uh, can't really make out what's on it. So this is the other side on this one. Definitely not the best coins, as you can see. Yeah, that was it. Got a bit of everything, you know, some bullets, clay pipe, some relics, little pendants. I'm quite happy with that. So uh, yeah, that was it. Seven hours hunting. Hope you enjoyed it a bit. And uh, good luck on the hunt. See you soon. Bye-bye.